Hello, this is the Junction Board team. In this video, I want to show you how to use a direct connection service from a Junction Board. Direct connection service helps you to forward messages from closed private channels to your channels or groups. Also, with direct connection, you can forward messages from boards and from other users. The difference between a private channel and a closed private channel is that for the closed private channel, you don't have an invitation link. Or even if you have an invitation link, administrator of this closed private channel will ban anyone who will use this link to connect to this channel. So you cannot use this invitation link for the bot. We have closed private channel where we want to forward messages from. And we have our own channel where too we want to forward messages. We will start with finding the junction bot. Junction bot. Bot asks what we want to do. We want to create a new forwarding. Junction bot has different kinds of accounts for different needs. So before buying a direct connection, I propose you to visit our website and check uh, maybe uh, another kind of account fits you better. So we know that we need a direct connection because we want to forward messages from a closed private channel. I will not go to a website now. I will just show you what to do and later you can read the website and understand better what is happening here. Direct connection is a paid service. So first we need to top up our balance in the junction board. For that we use the common PowerUp Pro 1000. We can follow this link. We select pay with card, enter our card number, and pay with it. Except for banking card, we also support PayPal or cryptocurrencies. Please contact the administrator for more details. Super, bot has received our payment. Now, the next thing what we want to do is to check that they have two factor authentication disabled. We go to settings privacy and security and check that two-step verification is disabled. Perfect. Next, let's contact our colleague Monica. We need to send her our phone number. And say, please start the direct connection and let's assure the administrator that we have disabled two-factor authentication disabled and we just follow her instructions on how to connect perfect now we are connected and we want to create a new forwarding crew for that we use a common new we select where from we want to copy the messages from the closed private channel and we select where to we want to copy messages to my channel. But first, we need to add bot as an administrator of our channel. Let's go to the settings. Manage channel, administrators, add administrator, junction bot. Perfect. Now it's ready. Now, create our forwarding rule to this channel. Perfect. We can see that this rule was created using the command list. We see here our direct connection and we see here our new rule. Let's check how it works. Look, a new message has come to a closed private channel and instantly it appeared in our destination channel. Works like magic. Okay. Now I will show you several useful features. Here is a new post in a closed private channel, in our source channel. Let's imagine that we don't want posts with the word space be delivered to our destination channel. What we can do is that we can go and create a new filter. We enter the command filter. We enter then the identifier of our source channel. 
which we take from the output of the command list. And then we enter a keyword must not have and the word space. Bot says that we have successfully created a filter for the word space. Now, if any message containing this word will came here, it will not be delivered here. Let's check how it works. Look, there is a new message in a closed private channel, but it contains the word space. That's why it wasn't delivered to a destination channel. Okay, does look like administrator of this channel is going to post anything what is not about space. So let's just remove this filter. For that, we just use the same comment with the same arguments one more time. The filter was removed. Now I will show you another interesting feature. Let's imagine that we want to remove all possible links, references to another websites from our posts. For that, we need to create a replacement rule. All the details about how to use filters and replacers you can find on our website. It contains the very detailed documentation. Now I will just show you an example. After creating several comments yourself, you will get used to that and will find out that it's not difficult at all. To remove links, we use the comment replacer X. We use our source. And we use a special rule describing how links should be removed. Cool, the rule was created. A lot of examples of different rules for all kinds of situations you can find on our website. Now let's take a look how it works. Oh, there is a new message in the source channel. It contains a link to a website. And it was delivered to our destination channel, but without this link. There is possibility to create a lot of different rules to remove different links, to change one piece of text to another, etc. Okay, the next useful feature which I want to show you is adding buttons to our posts. For that, we use the command setting channel. We use our source. We use command like parameter 2. Great. Bot says that now it will add two buttons to every post, like and dislike. Let's check how it works. There is a new message in the source channel. It was delivered to a destination channel, but now it contains two buttons, so users can like or dislike this post. You can like it only once. That's fair. You see how easy to do these kind of things with a junction bot. When you create your own comments, please remember that there should be only one space between arguments. Very common mistake. Okay, now I will show you how to manage your forwarding rules. We use the comment list, or we can use a button which corresponds to the same comment. We select manage forwarding rules. We see our forwarding rule here. Here it is, there is a special button to manage this rule. We can disable it. This will temporarily stop message from coming from the source channel to the destination channel. Or we can delete this rule completely. Done. There are no forwardings now. Okay, that was a very short introduction to what Junction Bot can do. There are a lot of different features. Let's check our website for the details. Enjoy!